Declarative memory and non-declarative memory are two categories of long-term memory that describe how information is stored and retrieved. Declarative memory involves conscious recall of facts, events or concepts and requires active thought. It allows us to explicitly state what we know. Non-declarative memory, on the other hand, involves unconscious processes that are automatically triggered by previous experiences. It allows us to perform tasks and actions without needing to consciously think about them. These two systems serve different purposes, but are both essential for learning and functioning. Declarative memory, often referred to as explicit memory, is the type of memory that stores information we can consciously recall and describe. It is divided into two subtypes, semantic memory and episodic memory. Semantic memory includes general knowledge, such as vocabulary, historical dates or scientific facts. Episodic memory focuses on personal experiences, such as remembering a vacation or a family gathering. Let's consider an example of declarative memory. Imagine you are learning a new language. When you recall the vocabulary words you studied, like the French word for apple, you are using your declarative memory. Similarly, if someone asks about your favourite movie, the ability to recall its title and plot depends on this type of memory. Non-declarative memory, also called implicit memory, operates below the level of conscious awareness. It includes procedural memory, skills and habits, priming, where exposure to one stimulus influences the response to another, and classical conditioning, automatic responses to learned associations. Unlike declarative memory, non-declarative memory does not require active recall, but is demonstrated through performance or behaviour. Now let's look at an example of non-declarative memory. Think about learning to play the piano. Over time, as you practice scales and songs, your fingers learn the movements automatically. Even if you stop playing for years, you can often return to the piano and remember how to play without needing to think about each note. This ability is a result of procedural memory, a subtype of non-declarative memory. Besides declarative and non-declarative memory, there are additional forms of memory that contribute to our ability to retain and process information. Sensory memory is a fleeting type of memory that holds information from our senses, such as sights or sounds, for just a moment before it either fades or is transferred to short-term memory. Short-term memory, also known as working memory, temporarily stores information we are actively thinking about or using, like a phone number we just heard. Long-term memory, where declarative and non-declarative memory reside, can also include emotional memory. Emotional memory involves the storage of feelings associated with certain events. For instance, a particular song might evoke a strong emotional response tied to a past experience. Each of these memory systems works together, helping us navigate our daily lives and build lasting knowledge and skills.